Hello and welcome to Caravanning with the Misses. Hello, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for subscribing if you have done, and if you haven't done, then if you did, I'd much appreciate it, that'd be great. Today's little vlog is gonna be all about a little drill I bought to put the corner steadies up and down on the caravan. Um, quite a simple little thing, it's just that um, when I was looking for a drill a few weeks ago before I bought it, um, I thought, all oh, right, I'm gonna need some certain, I'm gonna need a few features on this. I need it to be fairly light, I need it to be, I don't wanna spend much money, so it needs to be quite cheap, but then it needs to go backwards and forwards, you know, clockwise and anti-clockwise. It needs a few features, so, um, you know, so I thought it was quite a specific sort of drill, really, I was after. Um, so, and of course, each one of these um, features make it slightly more expensive. But I ended up getting this particular drill. It's a, just looking at my notes, it's a Jumel drill, made in China, Jumel drill from um, Amazon. You might have seen me unboxing it, actually, in my unboxing video I did a couple of days ago. Um, and yeah, I'm quite pleased with it, actually. I thought, oh yeah, when I've actually used it now, used it a few times, thought it's just about, just the ticket, just ideal for the particular job. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it in case you're in the same predicament as me and looking for a new drill but not too sure which one to get. Uh, now why did I decide to get a drill to put the corner steadies up and down? Because of course I can do it by hand and I have been doing it by hand for uh, since I got the caravan a few months ago. Um, but of course it takes blinking ages, doesn't it? It takes at least a few minutes to put each, each leg up and down. Um, and not too much of a problem, but then if it's raining on site, you're gonna to wanna to hurry that up. And then not only that, there's quite a few other bits and bobs you need to do with the caravan each time you set up on holiday. Uh, so the last thing you wanna do is spend ages putting the legs up and down. So I thought, yeah, I've always thought um, a drill would be a good idea, just a little lightweight portable drill to accelerate the process of putting the legs up and down. Now I'll just look at my notes. Um, so the features that I wanted for, that I thought would be a good to have in such a drill would be, it would need to be cordless, because I don't want to be plugging it into the mains. I might be off grid on my caravan. I don't want to be running around in the, um, in the rain with mains cable trailing behind me. So it needs to be cordless. It needs to have a fairly decent battery. I don't want to be worrying about charging it up all the time and all the rest of that. I've got enough stuff to charge up as it is. Um, it needs to have a torque setting so that when the legs are going down, obviously they're only just supposed to touch the bottom of the ground. They're not actually supposed to lift the caravan up at all. So it needs to have a torque setting so that when they hit the ground, then it, it won't, the drill won't continue to try and drive it down. Otherwise it'll end up lifting up the um, caravan and bending the, um, the steady possibly. So it needs to have a torque setting. It needs to be fairly cheap. Don't want to spend too much on this thing because I mean it's only going to put the legs up and down. It doesn't need to be particularly heavy duty. Um, that's all I want it to do. Just put the head legs up and down. So fairly cheap if possible. Um, it needs to go both clockwise and anti-clockwise. So it needs to screw and unscrew as well. Um, I also don't want to be faffing around with a chuck key either. So I need to be able to tighten up the chuck by hand. Um, I'm Probably, I mean, last time I brought a drill was a good 20 or 30 years ago, so I'm guessing that's probably a standard feature these days anyway, to be chuckless. Um, but that's one, that's a feature that I thought would be handy anyway. And also a little LED light, also that would be a good idea, so that you can see if you're putting the legs up and down during the night, um, you can see where the little hole is to pop the drill in. So a little LED light. So I ended up getting this one, this, as I was going up the feature list, it was getting more and more expensive, and then I ended up with this one. I thought, oh, that seems to have all the features. Uh, not too expensive. I mean, not as expensive as a Bosch or anything. Um, so it was £46.99 from Amazon. And as I say, it's a Jumel. It's a 20 volt cordless drill, 100 pieces. So you get a few screws and raw plugs, and you also get screwdriver bits and a couple of other uh, drill bits as well. So 100 pieces. Um, two amp battery with a fast charger, 36 nanometers maximum torque, and it's variable speed. Um, all the drill bits you get with it, I'll show you those in a moment, but you get a, a nice selection of drill bits. Um, it hasn't got a hammer mode, so it's not very good for drilling into masonry. It has got two drill bits um, that are specially for masonry, but uh, it advises you pour coolant on them if you're gonna use them to drill into bricks. Um, but I won't be doing that anyway. It's, uh, so it'll be handy for DIY jobs around the house or the caravan as well. Um, and I bought it with a 19 millimeter socket as well, also from Amazon, because that's the socket you need to um, 
put the to fit into the steadies. So here is the drill. This is it. It's actually got the socket on it. So you see, there's the trigger. Bom, bom, bom. There's a the little light on it, like so. It's pretty small, pretty light. Um, yeah, does the job. Oh, one handy thing is this little bit here. Um, do, 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 do. I could demonstrate it. Little magnet, so when you are doing your DIY projects and stuff, you can put your screws and bits and bobs, drill bits and things, you can just pop them on there. So yeah, quite handy. And there's the battery down there, uh, which you just plug, charge in the mains. It actually, it actually lasts for quite a decent length. I did a little test yesterday to see how long the rechargeable battery would last. So I charged it up, first time it's ever been used. So I charged it up, fully charged it. Um, I put each leg on the caravan up and down um, well, each leg went up and down about 10 times, uh, so that's 40 times, so which means it could last for about five caravan trips. So five times, five sets of putting all four feet down and then up again. So, and it's still got loads of charge left as well. So I think charging it isn't really going to be a problem. It probably just needs charging once a year, probably, um, which is probably when you know, at the beginning of the t at the beginning of the summer, something like that. So this is what you get in the uh, little neat little case, little carrying case. Here's the um, adapter for the corner steadies. Pop this in separately, but uh, it just sits there nicely like that. So as you can see, you get the drill there, battery, uh, mains charger, uh, screws, and raw plugs. And you get all the drill bits over there, including extendy thingy there, little thing for wood making holes in wood, and a few screwdriver bits there, drill bits there. There's your two masonry ones and if you need to. And you get your socket set as well there, your basic socket set. Um, okay, here's the battery. Now I've not I've only charged it once, and that was before I did my test to see how many times I could put the legs up and down before getting bored. Um, so, as I said earlier, um, it is about five trips away, um, so I did it ten times, four times, uh, so quite a lot, and I couldn't be bothered to uh, carry on because it was getting boring, so it basically it, it puts the legs up, up and down quite a lot, um, so I haven't charged it since, um, so I'll just have a look. If you press this button here, it tells, it shows you, if you press this button here, it just shows you how, what the state of charge is. My three LEDs. So do that. I don't know if you can see the LEDs. Um, so again, so we've got a red LED here, an amber LED in the middle, and then there's a green one at the end which wasn't illuminated uh, because it um, it's not fully charged. It would if it's fully charged and it needs. Then the green one would light, but it's still quite a bit of charge, about half half full at the moment. So there you go. Nice little carrying case. So to use the drill. Take the drill out, get the battery, slide the battery under there. Like so, and now the drill bit, pop it in there, and then there you go, just do it nice and finger tight. Perfect. And squeeze the trigger, infinitely variable trigger, variable speed trigger. Like so let's put it on. Put it on the van. Right, okay, so let's wind the steady up. There you go. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Happy caravanning.